will we hear this weekend from Laramie Tunsil, who, if you're keeping track of the numbers, will don 67. Jeff Darlington, have we heard yet from Laramie Tunsil? We have not, Andrew. We'll actually hear from him tomorrow. But speaking of numbers, how about this? $12.45 million over four years. Not a bad day for Laramie Tunsil when you take that on the surface. Certainly one that will make him very happy. He did agree to those terms. He will uh, have his contract signed, sealed, and delivered with the Miami Dolphins. Now, if we do want to talk about this, and I cringe thinking about it, but that slide that he took, if he had been taking, say, third overall, Joey Bosa looking at about $25 million, given the way that the, the draft slotting works, had he been taking six by the Ravens, we're talking about uh, $20 million. So we're talking anywhere between eight, $12 million that he might have lost because of that slide. But Tunsil himself, focused on the money he's going to make, not the money that he lost for now, Andrew. Gotcha. So if they're not on the field this weekend, Jeff, what exactly are the Dolphins rookies doing? Well, how about this, Andrew? I was just in the building here, and I ran into Zach Thomas, the legendary Dolphins linebacker. He actually was a speaker to these rookies, and that's sort of the theme here. Adam Gase, I spoke to him this morning, talking about the fact that he's got a whole agenda for these rookies. This is something that he and the organization decided was the best fit for this team. Not put them out on the field, get them mentally prepared so that when they get on the field with the veterans, they'll be more prepared to use those feet and be confident in what they're doing physically. This is something that obviously is a little bit progressive. You heard Steve Weiss earlier in the show talking about how Jeff Fisher has this guy's running at half speed. Well, Gase told me that that's something that he actually picked up from Fisher. Fisher is sort of what inspired this decision to keep them off the field. One misconception, though, uh, that Gase pointed out to me, he said, this isn't just classroom work. If the coaches decide they want to take him out on the field and just kind of walk him through some drills to show him exactly what he's talking about in the classroom, they'll do that. But, but in, in most regards, this is about keeping them uh, safe, keeping them injury-free, and also giving them a break. These guys have been going pretty hard since January. He wants to get them off the field, doesn't want to grind these rookies too hard, Andrew. Exactly. Understood. There will be plenty of time this summer when training camp to grind those rookies and get them ready for week number one. Thank you, Jeff Darlington right. there Thank you. with the Dolphins. Meantime